Hi, in our previous video, we did our first automation. We created a form. Whenever a customer comes and submits that form, we'll pull the data from that form and we'll update our database. That's what we did in our first automation. So today we are supposed to do our second automation. So this automation includes Google Notes. So to work with Google Notes in localhost, we have to set up our credentials. So it includes a lot of steps. So I just want to create a dedicated video to set up the credentials so that you will have an idea before we go to that automation. In the next video, I'll try to do the same thing with the Telegram node as well. So whenever we create our new automation, so we don't have to worry about the credentials. So you will already follow these videos. So you will know how to create the credentials. Okay, now let's go to N8N and create our Google credentials. Okay, now we are in our N8N. Let's add a Gmail node. So we have to click here and create our new credentials. As you can see here, we have to give lot of details so that's the thing with localhost so for gmail for gmail nodes and whatever uh, the nodes linked with google the process will be a bit uh, more complex so if you are working on cloud environment then you just have to sign in with your email then you are good to go and it will take care of these authorization url access token url whatever it has to do then it will take care of you but now we are in localhost, we have to set up all these credentials. Let's click on open docs and click on Google Cloud account. So you have to just sign up with your email and click on console here. Okay, now you have to click on project, you have to create a new project. Just name something email summary and just will create as soon as your project is created you have to open that select project and now you have to go to api and services click on oauth consent screen get started give it a name uh, let's say uh, email summary again just give your email and click on next. Click on external, next. Contact address would be the same email. Right, gmail, gmail.com. Click on next, I agree. Click on create. Okay, now after the configuration created, then you have to click on create OAuth client. Select the application type as web application just name it as email summary again now you have to add authorized redirect url so this is what we have to get from n8 and credentials so here this is the oauth redirect url you have to copy this just click on paste it over here and create so now you will get the client id just copy the client id and paste okay now click on this email summary again that is our client just click on copy so this is our client secret you have to copy this and paste it over here so now our client id and client secret credentials are set okay you know what when i first used this nodes when i first created the credentials for gmail node or google drive node I just have this OAuth redirect URL, client ID and client secret. But these two, I never came across these two URLs. So I just asked ChatGPT and it gave me this link. You will find this here. But I asked it to give the direct URLs. Then it gave something like this. I just copied this and I paste it over here. And I copied this and I paste it over here. According to ChatGPT, these two URLs are standard. Like whoever creates the credential, these two links are standard according to ChatGPT. But I don't know where to find these exactly. If you know about these two things, please feel free to comment down below so that it will be helpful for everyone. For now, let's click on save. Our credentials are saved successfully, but we have to do one more thing. We have to sign in with our own email okay 
why we are seeing this is we have to add ourselves as a test user in Google console. So we'll go to audience. Uh, I think we are already here, but I don't know why it's let's delete it and let's add a user again. 0938gmail.com save I think now we are good to go yes now just click on your select all and continue now our credentials are created so finally we are able to use gmail in our na10 but you know what we are not done yet you have to go to Google Cloud again and search for Gmail API and enable. Okay, now we are good to go. So if we click on test event, as you can see, our latest email was fetched successfully. So this is how we have to create credentials for Google Notes. So this is a long process. So that's why while we are using Google Notes, the cloud version is very easy. So just we have to sign in with our email, then uh, N18 will take care of all those details. Okay, anyway, in the next video, I'll show you how to create credentials for Telegram as well. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends. Bye.